if you have a pancake butt yes I said pancake butt or flat butt stick around I'm gonna show you what you can do about it I've been receiving lots and lots of requests about how to shape up your butt um, or how to gain volume there's good news and bad news bad news is that it's really really hard work good news is I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can do it and once you get the results you want it's very easy to maintain if you don't know me I'm Noko Omabo I invite you to subscribe to my channel click the bottom right corner of the screen also uh, select the little bell so you get notified every time I publish a video and uh, share this video with all the flat butts out there if you have equipment if you have dumbbells or elastic bands grab them we're gonna use them if you don't have anything that's fine I'm gonna show you how you can do it without any equipment and if you like what I do and you want to know more and get more information uh, in the link below I'm gonna leave the welcome packet once you get the welcome packet you also get all my emails with a weekly health tips um, other things that I do you can also get access to my private Facebook group where I do live videos so this is through my private Facebook group link let's get started in order to create shape and um, volume you need basically to build muscle mass in, in order to do this you need some form of resistance so today I'm going to show you the exercise without resistance at, at all, no weight, nothing. I'll tell you who should start with, with nothing. And then I'll also show you options with elastic bands. Those can be found online, uh, Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. I love them. I use them all the time. They come in different colors. So when you order them, you get a little package, usually with the yellow, green, red, blue, and black. And the lighter the color, the least resistance. I'm also get, going to show you how to do the same exercises with dumbbell. This is a 10 pounds. Maybe you have two pounds, maybe you have five pounds, maybe you have just bottles of water. Uh, so how do you know if you should be using resistance training or not? So I know all of you want to get some shape, some volume. However, if you are new to weight training, do it without resistance. Do the routine about three to four times a week every other day and for the first six weeks. If you are already doing weight training, then you can start the resistance. Let's get on our hands and knees. Fingers spread out wide. So, um, <clears throat> here, if this becomes uncomfortable on your wrist, you can always get onto your fist with the thumbs pointing straight front. So at any point, you can get onto your fist or even onto your forearms. Second thing, we want to avoid sinking to the shoulders. So imagine you pressing your shoulders into what's the floor and you're creating distance between your shoulders and your ears. And third thing, very important, is contracting, engaging the abdomen, the abdominal muscles, to support your back so you don't hurt your back. First exercise we're going to do is just for that. So I invite you to just let go your belly, drop the belly, and then pull it up. So lift your belly button, your ribs towards your spine, without changing anything here. Okay, there's no change here um, in your back. It's just the belly. Drop and lift, and drop and lift. Drop, lift and hold. Keep lifting a little bit more, hold. So we're gonna hold it every time you do uh, work for your legs, let's say on your hands and knees. You're gonna have to engage your core. If you're doing squats, you engage your core by pulling the belly button and ribs in. From here, I'm gonna show you the uh, first exercise. You're gonna flex the ankle and just bring the knee up and down. Up, contract your glutes, okay? And then slowly down without touching the floor. Up and down. If you are new to working out, remember no weight and do about three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. This will not build muscle mass, but this will prepare you for the next exercise. So it's going to help preventing injuries 
So it's the it's like basically a warm up to your training program. So everybody should start with that weight if you are new to weight training. You can do the same thing with a dumbbell. So if you don't have any weight, keep going. If you have weight, you want to use weight. You squeeze the dumbbell. Initially, it may fall because you're not used to squeezing. You really have to squeeze the dumbbell between your calf and your thigh and slowly lift. And you'll notice a big difference in the work in your glute. But that's what you're going to need to build mass. So when you start doing weights, using weights, you want to do three to five sets of eight to 12 repetitions and rest about a minute in between. If you have an elastic band, you're going to place it below your right knee and above your left knee. So at first it feels kind of awkward. And you can do the same thing here. Belly lifted and you pull up. Slowly down. And up, okay? Now if you're doing without weight, between each set, you wait or you rest 30 seconds. So what you can do is just do one leg, do the other leg, and alternate. And this should take about 30 seconds to do each side. Let me show you to the side. Now we can place the band, if we're doing with band, so you can do with, without the band. Same thing, going to the side, and slowly down. And side, and down. Keep going with the weights. Remember, eight to 12 repetitions. Then you rest for a minute. Let me show you the dumbbell. You really have to squeeze when you go to the side. Belly lifted, slowly up. And down, and up, and down. So I said three to five sets. Initially, of course, you start with three sets. And then maybe a month later, four sets. And then you can go up to five sets. Let's work on the other leg. So again, with, without weight. I'm going to start with that weight. So we adjust the position here. Fingers spread out, shoulders pressing down, crown of the head reaching forward, belly lifted, and up. So with that weight, keep going up to 15, 15 to 20, or with weight 8 to 12. Let me do four more, four, three, two, one, to the side, and out, two, three. Seven, eight, let me do two more. Hold it up, hold, 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 slowly down. So ideally, because you're doing your three sets, I'm not gonna do the three, four, five sets, because we would be here for a long time, but uh, what you wanna do is pause the video and do your two to three other sets again uh, before you move to the next exercise. So next exercise, I like to use, you don't have to use any weight, remember, if you use weight here, you can use the elastic band and a dumbbell, I'll show you why, I'm going to do the bridge, we lay on our back, feet are about hip width apart, the heels close to the glutes, and you keep the same distance between your feet and your knees, so you don't want to be like this. So as you keep the distance here, you have, in order to maintain the distance, you have to engage the glute muscles. So you work a little bit more when you have this elastic band. I'm gonna show you several options how to increase the intensity with or without weight. So we're gonna lift and slowly down if you can. You want to avoid dropping if possible. So up, you squeeze your glute. We're contracting the glute. Hamstring are working. Low back muscles are working. Slowly down. Three. 
four, five, six. Keep going. Now that's how I can add load. I could add two dumbbells. You can add a gallon of water. You can add a backpack. However you want to load it. Eventually, if you really want to keep building muscle mass, volume, shape, you're probably going to need to go to the gym or use much heavier dumbbells. And if you want to add a little bit more, one leg extended and lift and slowly down and lift. It's much more intense. Let's do the other leg and lift. So I keep the same distance between the knees. Let me do two more here. And another option is to open center down. So here I keep the same distance between the knees. Okay. And I lift from here. I open wide back to center slowly, slowly down, and lift, open, halfway in, knees are not touching, and down, and up, ha open, halfway in, then let's do one more this side, lift, out, halfway in, down, switching side, so as I'm going up, here, I maintain the distance between the space between my knees. Here, halfway out, halfway in, down, lift, open, halfway in, down. Let's keep going. Lift, open, halfway in. Then we're doing this in control, we're going slowly. And when you want to build size, volume, shape, move slowly. Last one. Nice. Let's pull the knees to the chest. And initially you may uh, get tired, you may not be able to do the whole routine and that's fine. But what's important is that you do a full set. So let's say you do just the first two exercises, make sure you do at least three sets of each. It's better than doing just one set of all the exercises. Do three sets of each exercise and see how many exercises you can do. All right, let's stand up. Place the left leg front, the right foot back, making sure that the toes of the front foot and back foot are facing the same direction. We don't want the back foot to be turned out. So turn facing same direction. I'm lifting my back heel and I'm using the wall here for balance. If you want, you can. It's always better without balance, but initially you can use a wall. And from here, what we're going to do, we're going to lunge down. It means we're going to bring the back knee close to the floor. And when we do this, we want this knee to fall over the foot. If I don't have enough distance between my feet, watch what happens to the front knee. This front is going to move forward, and if I draw a line here, it's going to fall in front of my foot. I'm straining all my soft tissues, all my ligaments here. I'm going to hurt my knee. So make sure you have a wide stance here, big stance. Again, belly in here. And we go slowly down, inhale, and up. Same thing here, three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. If you're doing without weight. And then with weights, you can have dumbbells on your shoulders. You can hold dumbbells. You can start with five pounds, 10 pounds, 20, 25 pounds. And on your way up, contract your glute here. Inhale, exhale, let's do four more. Four. Three, two, one, and down, lift your, oops, <laughs> lift your knee up, and step back, down, knee up, step, knee up, 
Squeeze. Let's do four more. Four. Should start feeling the burn. It's normal, it's just the burn. So keep going. As long as you're not cramping. And here. And as we're taking the break, let me show you what you can do if your glutes starts to cramp. You can get into the floor and do a figure four. So you cross one leg over the other, flexing your ankle here. And you can bring your chest forward. This will stretch your glute here and help with the, any um, cramps you may have. Let's work on the other side. Check the alignment of the toes. Back heel lifted. Wide stance. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Down and up. And I think a lot of people struggle with, with um, building mass because it takes a long time. So people will get frustrated. They do it for a month, six weeks, they don't see any result. Keep going. It's been very challenging for me to build mass in my glute and my shoulders. For years I thought I could never have any shape. But one day I said, you know, I'm going to keep going. And then you get to a place where you start feeling, noticing a slight change, it keeps you motivated to keep going. It's when you need to start adding more weight. And lift up, step back, down, push. So from this foot here, really push. Let's do four, three, two, one. Shake your legs. Next one. If you have maybe a table, a stool, or blocks, okay, uh, or just the floor, let me show you. We're gonna do what I call a single leg squat, and you're gonna feel the burn. That's a great exercise. This one is done without weight. So we start with both knees bent, both knees glued. This heel is on the floor the whole time. We bend the knee as much as we can, we extend both legs. There's no need to go really high. It's just a matter of extending the right leg. Bent, keeping your left knee down, extend. Let's do it together. Both knees bent, and out. Out. 10 more. 10. 9. 8. Not trying to go faster. If you go faster, you're gonna have to do more. 6. All the way there. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together. Let's open the feet wide and just relaxing here, nodding the head. Feel free to bend the knees. Let's work on the other side. Okay, bending both knees, right heel into the mat, belly ribs lifted, remember? Bent, and extend. And the more you bend, the more you work on the glute and the thigh. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, inhale down, exhale out, six, five, four, Three, two, one. All right, feet apart. Feel free to bend your knees. Relaxing the neck. Option to pull the chest a bit closer to the thighs. All right. Let's bend the knees, hands on the thighs, coming halfway up. Hold it here because we have a lot of blood pulling into the head. We don't want to get dizzy as we go slowly all the way up. Next one, we'll bring the knee up. And so the right leg remains extended. Belly lifted, ribs lifted. What do I have here? I have keys. <laughs> all right. 
So from here, basically we are in warrior three, coming up. So with or without the wall. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, squeeze your glute, squeeze your glute. Seven, six, as you come up, okay, try to squeeze the standing leg, the glute of the standing leg, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. What is it, six? Five, four, three, two, one. How's your glute feeling? Feel it warming up? Yes. All right, here, other side. Contract right here. Belly in. And leaning forward, contract the other glute. As you come up, contract left. Contract right, left, right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, That's it, so we're going to stretch. We did the figure four earlier, so let's do it together. <clears throat> Make sure you flex this ankle. And the outer leg can be as far as you want. Obviously, the closer, the more intense the stretch. So eventually, you can bring the foot closer. Then you can scoop the hips as close to the foot as possible. And if this knee wants to come to your shoulder, Try to move it away from the shoulder, pushing your chest forward. So before you go today, let me know how many times you're going to do this practice for the next month or so, how many times a week, and what you hope to obtain after that. Also, I want to know if you did the whole thing without not, not stop the whole practice. If you did, that's awesome. And pushing the chest forward, flexing the ankle. Okay, right leg front. Relaxing forward. Take your deep breath into the nose and out to the nose. And think about if there's, um, you'd like to see more things like this, more workouts, or if there's other body parts you'd like to um, me to show you some exercises to build volume and shape, let me know. Or anything else. Because I did this video as a request from you guys, so. I try to read as many comments as possible. Let's come up. All right, that's it for today. So don't forget to go to the comments below. Give me your feedback. Uh, check out the links below the video. See you next time.